I get so many questions on how can I make a passive income by investing into the stock market? Well, there's this amazing, amazing principle of the stock market. In this video, we are going to be talking about what is dividend investing and how you can start investing in dividends for yourself for passive income. At the end of the video, you'll see my few favorite dividend picks. So maybe if you want to invest in them, you can. If you don't, just step on the sidelines, that's okay too. But anyway, we're just gonna get started. So what exactly are dividends? Dividends are sums of money that companies are going to pay for you just holding shares within the company. So I have a few examples here. So let's pretend that this is the company and let's say that it's the Bank of Montreal. Bank of Montreal is a great dividend to invest in. It has great returns, high yield. And so here we have Bank of Montreal. Now we have our share. We own a share of Bank of Montreal. And from this share, we get paid a dividend just for holding a share from this company. This dividend can be right here. Basically, each and every time that the company pays out dividends, this could be monthly, semi-annually, quarterly, or yearly, you are going to get paid a net profit percentage off of whatever the company's making, and that is going to be the dividend. It's important to note that if the company does have a net loss, meaning that the company's finances are not doing well, and people are not shopping or buying or using their product or service, that most likely you will not be paid a high or even a dividend whatsoever. So it's always important to check back weekly, quarterly, monthly, semi-annually, or even yearly to see how your dividends are actually performing. When we do have a net profit, if the company Bank of Montreal is continuously profiting, you will receive a dividend payment. It's important to understand how these dividends get paid and how they actually get distributed. So again, once you're holding a share of a company or a stock within a company, you will start receiving these dividend payments. It is up to you to make sure to check when these payments will actually be distributed. Typically, you'll find them quarterly. However, you can find them monthly, semi-annually, meaning every six months or even yearly. And people, this is a super, super odd concept that many people mistake. When you're getting paid dividends, you are getting paid for the same amount every single year. It depends on the company how they want to distribute it. For example, if you're getting paid monthly, each and every month for the dividend, it is going to be the same amount of payment at the end of the year if you were to get it quarterly, if you were to get it every six months semi-annually, or just that lump sum at the end of the year. So you're not making all this money more money if you were to get a dividend that has monthly payments each and every month. No, that's not how it works. Every single time you get paid a dividend, it's going to amount to that total payment, that total dollar value at the end of the year. Where can I actually buy dividends and where can I find stocks that are going to pay me dividends? Well, the power of the phone and the power of trading apps is absolutely beneficial to you. And the app that I like to use to do this is called Public. I have a video that I'm gonna link right here. It's going to tell you how exactly you can use Public to create these stock picks and to help build your portfolio. Not only with Public, you'll be able to make trades and transactions, but the great thing about it is the social investing aspect. You will be able to see what I'm invested in in my long-term portfolio, as well as make friends, see the current news, and really, it's basically almost like an Instagram, but for investing, which is amazing if you're a beginner and you want to understand where people are actually putting their money into. In this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how you can actually find these dividends. So you can find dividends with high yield, you can find dividends with more safer investments and have a larger market cap. So as you can see, I'm using my laptop right here 
And right now we are on the site called finviz.com. Finviz is basically a scanning screening tool that is going to help you find stock picks. And for this video example specifically, we are going to use it to help us find dividends. So as we can see right here, we are going to want to click screener and then we have all of these options and then also ads if it presents ads to you. Market cap, this is going to depend on how safe or more volatile you want your returns to be. Typically, if you want to go more safe, something that's more reputable, we are going to choose large cap. So this is 10 billion to 200 billion. And as we can see, it already updates for us automatically. Next, we see the dividend yield right here. We want a high dividend. Positive is okay, but if there's high dividends available or very high dividends available, then those are the ones that you should really be looking at. So after we put in the, our market cap for large and dividend yield high to maximize the amount of money which you're receiving, just for holding these shares. Then it's going to present to us a lot of information. We have the ticker symbol, we have the company, we have the sector, if they're healthcare or banks, the financial, real estate, the industry, the country, the market cap, the PE ratio, price, change, and volume. So what I'm gonna focus on here is I'm going to focus on the ticker symbol, the sector, as well as the PE and price. The ticker symbol is how we are going to look this up and it's really the company's name and abbreviation. So let's take a look at Bank of Montreal, for example, BMO. That's, that's what we would look up when we are looking up the stock. We can see that it's in the financial sector, meaning that it's a bank and it's diversified and it's also located in Canada. The price right now for the stock is $49.31. So if that's something that's affordable within your price range, you can purchase it. However, with public, if you do not have the affordability or capability of buying some of these highly priced stocks, maybe something like $137 or maybe even upwards of $500, you can actually buy stock split. Basically, it's on a sliding scale and you can choose the amount of money that you want to put into the stock, which is absolutely revolutionary. And this is something for you that you can do to also help you make great returns. Once we know kind of what our options are and we see that there are 20 options here and if we even click next, there are going to be hundreds of options for you to choose from. And you might be wondering, well, what do I actually choose from then since there's so many options? Well, this is where the ticker symbol really comes into hand. We're just gonna use Bank of Montreal for this example. So once we click the Bank of Montreal ticker symbol, it's going to bring us to this page. We can see the chart here. We can see how you know the pandemic really affected the stock market. We can see how it's recovering. We can see averages. We can see the market cap, the income that they're making, the sales that they're making. What's the dividend? This is the annual dividend. We can also see the dividend yield. The dividend yield is a very important number to you. So the 6.14% means out of the profits that the company is making, you will be receiving a portion of your income through this dividend yield. Let's see here, we also have the EPS, the earnings per share, we have five years and we have the earnings. What we also want to look for when we are doing our analysis on what to actually invest in for dividends is to look at their five year earnings and also quarterly earnings. And what this is going to tell you is the company going like this or is it going downward? We want a company that is always progressing and always has a market that is going to grow. Now let's get into the interesting part and how maybe this can actually help you succeed. I'm gonna give you a few stocks that I see that have a high dividend yield and have been very reputable for a number of years. 
As I just talked about, Bank of Montreal is one of those. And actually, the majority of Canadian banking does have a very safe and growing as well as great returns year after year. According to Seeking Alpha, these dividend payments have been uninterrupted since 1833, which is absolutely insane. It's almost getting close to 200 years of uninterrupted dividend payments. And basically what this means to you, that this is one of the safest forms of dividend payments while also increasing your dividend payments and even stock value. So it's really a win-win situation here all of these Canadian stocks like I'm about to list off to you are going to have that reputability and safer form of investing for you in producing passive income. Some of these stocks that I have here are the Toronto Dominion Bank, which is the ticker symbol TD, and it's all gonna be listed right here for you. Another one is CM, it's the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Another one is the Royal Bank of Canada, RY, Bank of Montreal, which I had stated earlier, BMO. And again, these have uninterrupted dividend payments since 1833. So after a few hundred years, these probably will be the safer forms of investment reliable for you in creating that passive income through dividend yield investing. I hope this video helped. And if you wanna see more videos about investing, personal finance and trading, please make sure to click the sub button down below as well as like the video if you found this helpful. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.